In this video, we're gonna show you how to determine if your AC condensing unit has two rows of coils or only one. Afterwards, we're gonna show you how to do a deep cleaning on your condensing unit, regardless of if it has two rows or a single row. So let's get right into it. Now, before we remove the lid or work on any unit, we want to make sure that we are shutting down the power first. Obviously, the units that we're demonstrating this on are not connected to anything, but let's show you real quick how to disconnect power to your unit. So very simple, um, each unit will probably have a disconnect like this. All you do is pull this little tab out, set it on top, just make sure you close this back because there's still live wiring and you don't want water getting in there. All right, so we've got two different types of AC systems here. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to remove the lid of these units. And this is the tool that I recommend for a homeowner. You can easily strip these screws out. So having a handheld tool like this is uh, nice to have. And you have all of these different sizes with the Klein. I'll leave a link for this in the video description, but let's go ahead and remove the tops and we'll show you what's underneath. So we got the lids loosened, all the screws taken out. We're going to rotate this over and we're just gonna set it right down on the ground. If your fan doesn't quite reach the ground, you can set a block of wood or something underneath it so that it's not putting a bunch of tension on those wires. All right, so as you can see, this unit just has a single row of coils. So we're gonna show you how to effectively clean that. As you can see, they're super dirty and nasty. And the bottom also has some junk collected there. So we're gonna show you how to do a really good, nice cleaning on this unit. Now on this unit, on the other hand, as we can see, there is two rows of coils here. Now we're gonna show you what it looks like in between. We're actually gonna separate the coils um, for a homeowner. I would not recommend doing this. This is more so of a commercial thing where you will split the coils and clean in between. But I've already split uh, the coils on this one just so we can show you what it looks like. And as you can see, the coils are super clean. We cleaned this unit in a previous video and there was nothing in here in, in the middle to begin with to cause a restriction. So I would not recommend um, splitting the coils. A lot of people in the comments said, you have to do that if you have double coils. That is not true. However, the biggest thing with this one, as you can see, these little aluminum fins um, this Lennox unit has these little uh, little tabs that hold it in place. And to pull that out, all you do is pull like that, and it pulls it out from between uh, these two tubes here. So that's not gonna cause any issues or anything. These units tend to uh, collect stuff, so I'd probably recommend just leaving this one off, and we're gonna show you how to clean both of these thoroughly. So let's go ahead and get the cover off of this one. That's another thing that I recommend. Just remove the cover if you wanna do a real deep cleaning because a lot of times stuff will get stuck uh, between these fins as you're trying to clean this. So I definitely recommend taking a few extra minutes, taking the cover off, and that's gonna allow you to get full coverage on this coil with your cleaner. Wow, that's crazy. This would have made a huge difference in the performance of this unit. Obviously this um, system uh, got replaced and probably it could be because of this that the compressor went out. Um, so make sure you maintain your units, guys. You can get so many more years of use if you simply maintain the system. Um, you don't even necessarily have to use the cleaner, uh, but just rinsing this will get a lot of this off and can prevent you from having to replace your unit prematurely. Okay, so now that you've determined whether you have a double coil or a single, the cleaning process is actually going to be the same regardless. We're not gonna split these, but we are going to clean the inside and the outside, and then we're gonna rinse from the inside, and then we're gonna rinse the outside. Now, as far as cleaning solutions, this is what I like to use when I'm cleaning condensing units and maintaining them in the field, but I do this on a daily basis, and so I use this uh, quite often. Um, but if you're a homeowner and you're looking for something that is cheap and yet effective, we can actually use Dawn dish liquid as well as vinegar to get the same results. We'll have a nice cleaning agent and we can get all this nasty debris off of our condensing unit. 
Now we're still going to use our foam gun. This one is a coil gun made by New Calgon, but I will leave a link in the video description to a $20 coil gun. And I'll show you right now how we mix the vinegar and Dawn dish liquid in our coil gun. And then let's get to cleaning this unit. So we've got our coil gun container. We're just gonna put in a little bit of dish liquid and then we're gonna put in a little bit of white vinegar and then we'll do the rest with lukewarm water. Probably don't have to fill this to do one unit, so maybe about halfway full. And that's it. All right, so we've got our coil gun hooked up. We're set to E. Um, you can adjust these depending on the ratio you want. And we're just gonna start rinsing it down. And then we're just gonna let that soak for a little bit. We'll go ahead and rinse it all off. So our unit's been sitting for about 10 minutes or so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start rinsing this from the inside and you'll notice it pushing this debris out. So instead of trapping stuff inside here, we're pushing it back out the way that it came in to begin with. Now, as you can see, that stuff's pretty stubborn, but here's another trick you can do is get a stiff bristle brush like this one. And what we can do is just run this through the coil and that's going to clear all of that stuff out. In addition, if you have some bent fins like this, sometimes that will straighten them out and allow it to have better airflow. Now, another thing that you can do in addition to rinsing this out, a lot of stuff will get trapped in here. You can go ahead and vacuum this out with a shop vac, but what else you can do is you can drill a larger hole at the bottom of the pan or even several that all of this can be rinsed out easier in the future. That's not going to hurt the unit and it's going to help um, in the long run maintaining this unit. Now keeping the bottom of the pan is important because as you can see, some rust has developed on the bottom of this pan. When the leaves develop on the bottom, they will hold moisture and that can rust out the bottom of the pan. So keeping this cleaned and rinsed out regularly is definitely important. All right, for the unit that has the double coils, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to rinse the inside with our coil cleaner and then we'll do the outside. So it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and rinse this from the inside. Now for the inside portion, we wanna kind of press down instead of straight out because we're not gonna, we don't wanna push the dirt back into the middle section of these two coils. Okay, so let's go on to the outside now. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna work our way down. Now, as you can see, without that cover, we're able to get all of this debris and stuff out. Now, as we get here towards the bottom, you'll notice that some of this stuff just wants to stay. So we're just gonna take our brush and we're gonna work it down like this. So 
you can use that comb as needed to get any stubborn debris like that out. So if you notice here, in addition to uh, not being able to get some of this debris out, right here we have some bent fins. Now notice what we can do. We can put some pressure on this and just like that we've got those fin fins bent back out. Believe it or not, if you have a lot of fins like this, that can really mess with your efficiency. And so using this tool can really help get fuller air out of your AC. Well guys, it's as simple as that to keep your AC unit clean and maintained, whether you have a double coil or a single coil like this one, using these two household cleaners. Uh, this coil gun, as well as these two tools, we'll leave a link to these in the video description, but you can get all of these items for very cheap and you can save hundreds doing this project yourself. Now, something that's equally as important as keeping these coils cleaned is your evaporator coil. In the next video right here, we're gonna share with you how to easily clean your evaporator coil, making sure that the inside unit has plenty of air coming out of the vents, keeping you nice and cool this summer. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.